Hey guys, it's Mindy and welcome back to Mindy's Coral Reef. So today I want to talk to you about something a little bit different. Uh, yesterday I was in a pet store called Cruz's Pet Store. It's in Lansing, Michigan. And as I was walking in, I was actually going in to get some bird food for Pikachu. I got a little sidetracked and actually walked through the reptile section and was looking at their terrariums. They have many of them. Got a little fascinated by all the different ones that they had. I don't have any reptiles. I My daughter has turtles, but that's really about it. So I uh, got a little spontaneous, went a little overboard here on a brand new project that I wanted to show you guys before I get started. So uh, they had this terrarium there that had, it was like, half terrarium with the plants and also half water. And also they had these really cute little dart frogs that were absolutely adorable with all different colors. So I fell in love with them. So what did I do? I bought everything. So here we are. You see all my different products that I bought here. I bought bark, I bought moss, I bought a mister, I bought the terrarium. I have a little fish tank here that has all my little frogs here. I bought five little baby frogs that are sitting here in my temporary little aquarium that are waiting for me to set up the real aquarium. Um, I'm going to redo the background, put in the bark for the background, fill it in with moss. I'm actually going to do it half with water at the bottom. We're going to put in fish at the bottom. Um, with a filter system, it's going to come through up to the top with the waterfall system that's going to come down through the actual terrarium system with the live plants where the frogs will be. It's going to be beautiful. The misters are going to be up top, misting everything. I mean, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. I have a picture of what they had in the store, which I'm going to show you in a second. I'll flash it there. You're going to see. Um, mine will be a little bit different, of course. So um, everything's here. I have the plants in my garage that are waiting to be put in there too. I want to get this going here so I'm not blabbering off as long as, you know, here. So I'm going to show you from start to finish and, and you're going to be right there along with me as I get everything going. So again, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell right next to it so you don't miss any of my future videos to come. Let's get going and let's get to work. All right, so we are here at my garage ready to get started. So the first step is I have my terrarium here. I took out the foam insert that you see right here. This was the, the original background that came in this thing. So I'm getting rid of this because this is ugly. And I have the, um, this is what I showed you originally in the beginning. I'm going to be putting this on the background, which is way more natural. So this is actually going to be cut with the saw. Um, it's going to go on the background. So it's, these pieces are going to be cut to fit the background. I have egg crating here. They're going to be attached with a silicone and a foam to the egg crating. And it's going to be inserted into the back of the terrarium. So that is the next step here. And uh, we're going to get sawing. All right, let's get to it. cut so that it's all ready to go. I'm going to apply silicone to the inside of the tank so that I can secure the egg crating in there. So here we go. We're good. <laughs> All right, so I have egg crating here that's supporting the base of the land where the plants are gonna be in the waterfall. I have two more pieces of egg crating underneath that's just supporting. It's a support system that are five inches tall. And then I have these zip lines that I'm attaching 
the two pieces underneath together so that it's all secure. Uh, I have a black piece of acrylic here that I cut about five inches tall. It's the length of the actual aquarium, which is 22 and a half inches in length. There are holes through this. This is for the filtration so the water can actually go through it. And this is gonna be right in the front of the aquarium. The water is gonna sit in the front and the water is actually gonna go through and underneath. So this egg crating that you see here is gonna be holding, is gonna be the base of the land where the actual plants are gonna be sitting and the ground where the waterfall is gonna be coming down. So you have the egg crating here and then I have two more pieces of egg crating underneath here that I'm going to be, you know, putting together here. And this is actually holding and supporting it together to hold as a base for, for the land. Next, I took black waterfall foam sealant and I applied it to the egg crating. I then placed each piece of wood to the egg crating and allowed each piece to dry. Here, you can see each piece of 5 inch egg crating supporting the base, including the silicone piece that supports in the front. I then placed small pieces of egg crating on the base to hold the foundation in place and also put the pump in. The pump's cord will come up and out of the tank and will be hidden along the edge of the wood. You can also see that the pump has a foam filtration system. There will then be a tube that will come across the tank and up through the wood. I made this hole that the tube goes through with a long metal rod. I then applied these rocks for drainage as the first layer of substrate and I placed a mesh on top. I also placed an L-shaped gauge on the waterfall tube. Next part was hooking up the the Mystic King, um, the Mister, for the terrarium. Um, and this part here required all of these parts here and actually a bucket, which I had here. This is just a regular bucket that I had downstairs that I grabbed that would work fine. I took a drill bit that was, I required a 9 16 drill bit and drilled a hole into the side of the bucket and then pushed this little piece here into the side of this bucket. That came with it and then I uh, took this piece of tubing right here that came in the packaging and and cut this and cut a couple pieces right here uh, these pieces will actually go in the sides of this piece here which will actually go into the bucket here just like this which then goes into this piece here, which is the actual pump. And then this piece here goes into this piece here. The controller is actually right here, which controls the mister there. And this is what actually holds the water for the mister. So this actually will sit underneath the actual terrarium um, and you can set it so you can set how how often it actually miss the terrarium um, you know how many times per day you want it to actually miss missed it now the top part which is right here this is the screen so this screen came with it but obviously these these pieces right here weren't on there so what I had to do is uh, these two pieces that you see right here they came in the in the King Mist package. So I had to take a drill and screw these four pieces here onto each corner. 
um, to attach these two pieces. Now this tubing right here was another piece of the tubing that I had to cut and attach here. And you'll see underneath are these two sprayers right here. Now this is actually what sprays the actual mist. Uh, they are, they're in a hole. So I just took a screwdriver and just punctured a hole through the actual screen and then pushed these two pieces in there so that they were really snug. Uh, that way, you know, nothing can actually fit through there in case, you know, there was a frog up there or there was a, a fly or what have you up there. Uh, nothing can actually get through. So these two pieces up there, the misters, like I said, and then uh, just screwed those two pieces up there. And then the actual tubing from the mister down below, which I showed you will come all the way up. The tubing will attach right here and that's what will spray the water into the terrarium. And there you have it. The next layer of substrate was sphagnum moss. I also placed the top on with the misters in place. Next, I carefully picked out some rocks that I wanted to design a waterfall with. And I glued them together really carefully and let them dry securely. Next was the fun creative part of putting in all the plants and figuring out where everything looked good. I then covered the entire base with sheet moss. Tucked away in this back corner, underneath this log, is my little trap door. I cut a piece of wood that would fit perfectly over where the pump is located. So in case I ever need to get in there, I can. And I make sure that this little piece is always very secure so nothing can ever fall in. Okay, so after I finished doing all the landscaping and putting all the, the plants in the terrarium. The next step was to put in the water. So what I did before I put in the water is I got some stones, actually I got these stones out of my yard, <laughs> um, out of my landscaping, and I did a little, uh, I did, this is completely up to you if you wanna do, some, if you wanna do something like this, uh, but I did this for the frogs, that way in case they do jump in the water, they have something to swim to and get back onto land. So I did a little ledge here with some stones. And then I also cut some pieces of some floating board. Uh, there's some board right here and another piece right here that just float along the top of the water. That way in case they do fall in, they can jump on there too and then get back onto land. And then down below I have some pebbles uh, just for decoration down at the bottom. So then I put water in, fill the whole thing in. Uh, so the, obviously the water goes all the way to the back to where the pump is. And then I turn the pump on, which is now going up and down through the waterfall. And I'll show you more closely the waterfall and, and how that looks. I'll have to do a couple water changes on this tank before this water actually cycles. Here you can see that I added an additional piece of tubing for the waterfall and then I add some moss to hide the tubing. All right, so once it's all finally said and done, you have the top on, the misters work, the waterfall's on, the water's in, everything's in plant-wise, everything's running, it's time to finally put the best part of the whole thing in, which is the dart frogs. So let's go ahead and let's see the babies.
right guys, so that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was educational. As you know, I'm more of a fish person, so doing a project like this was completely out of my norm and I just went off just a little bit of instruction and just kind of went with a leap of faith as to what I was doing. So hopefully all in all, it all goes well. I hope it was in informative. I hope you could take something from it. So if you want to do something similar to this, you can do something with the instructions that I gave to you. If you have any comments or questions leave them below and again if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification right beside it and I want to thank everyone who supported me on my patreon page if you're not familiar with my page make sure that you check it out in the information section of this video again thank you for watching I appreciate all the positive feedback and I'll see you guys in the next video bye